Peter goes for a walk and he walks 15 miles in six hours. So for part A, we're asked to work out Peter's average speed and give our answer in miles per hour. So there's, I mean, the essential thing with this question is that you know how to work out um, speed when given a distance and a time. In other words, we need to know the relationship between speed, distance and time. Um, now there's lots of different ways of doing it. You can do it with a triangle, like so. This is how most people remember it. Um, but I'm going to try and tell you a way to remember what goes where without having to just memorize a triangle. Now most people know that speed is measured in miles per hour. You get in a car, it's in when you drive, it's in miles per hour. So that would be, miles is a measure of distance per hour, which is a measure of time. So miles per hour, distance over time. So speed equals distance over time. And once I know that, uh, I've heard before that this could be called dad's silly triangle. So we multiply if we're at the bottom and we divide if um, we're trying to work out one of the others. So if I want to work out speed, I would cover speed. I can see that's distance over time. If I wanted time, I would cover time. That means it's distance over speed. And if I wanted distance, I could cover distance. And that means it's speed multiplied by time. We want speed in this case. So S equals D over T. Um, and then substitute in the distance is 15. The time is 6. 15 over 6 is 2.5, so 2.5 miles per hour. Okay, in the next part, um, it gives us um, that 5 miles is 8 kilometers. They won't always do that, so you do need to know this conversion. Sunita says that Peter walked more than 20 kilometers. Is Sunita right? Um, well, he's walked 15 miles. Let's just write that down. He's walked 15 miles. <clears throat> Five miles equals eight kilometers, which means that 15 miles will equal three times as much. So multiplying both sides by three, 8, 16, 24 kilometers. Is Sunita right? Yes, Sunita is right. He walked 24 kilometers.